Hi, I'm Maybrit. And I'm Svea. And we are both from Germany, volunteering in Georgia right now. We are yeah, like volunteers at the Civic Education Teachers Forum and yeah, supporting them with workshops at school and at the office. And yeah, I'm from Northern Germany, from Lübeck. It's a city at the Baltic Sea and I'm 18 years old. I graduated from high school and right now having a gap year and decided to go to Georgia, experience a new country and yeah. <laughs> And so yeah, same for me, um, with slight differences, like I'm all, also 18, also decided to do this gap year, also in the same organization. Um, and originally I'm from North Rhine-Westphalia in Germany, it's a very small town in North Rhine-Westphalia, um, it's called Warburg. And yeah, so now we're here in Tbilisi and uh, telling you a little bit more about Germany. tradition we only have in Germany or maybe also in the surrounding countries like Austria is the advanced calendar. It's a calendar it's special for the Christmas time so it has like 24 different doors or things to open till Christmas and yeah it's very very nice to have especially for small children to be excited for Christmas and to like counting the days till it's um, Christmas Eve and yeah. Mm, I agree. Especially, we usually had the ones with chocolate, so opening each day a new day with chocolate. Um, but later on, I didn't really like these anymore, and so there's also some with like tea or uh, companies um, offering some with uh, uh, loads of products. Uh, they have them with perfume, I think, as well. And um, so yeah, there's a huge thing each each December. Yeah. Also, like sometimes your parents are doing it on your, on their own, so it's like a self-made advanced calendar so there are several different choices to get an advanced calendar and it's very very traditional in Germany to have. I think the most uh, typical stereotypes are mostly about Germans being super punctual, always on time, super structured, um, also, what comes to my mind is like drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> um, I think the thing about being structured and on time is mostly true. I, I mean, it depends on the person, of course. There's a lot of persons that are chaotic and uh, never on time as well. But um, I think as a general mood in the public, especially when it comes to professional life, like that's super important to always be on time. Otherwise, um, like you won't be working at your place for super long. But I think it's not always good to be that punctual and structured and organized because you're not like that flexible anymore and spontaneous. And also the beer drinking aspect. I think many Germans are drinking beer, but not everyone like you. you, are not, you <laughs> she like doesn't beer. like beer at all. <laughs> and she's German, so it's not that true, <laughs> the stereotype. holiday we just have in Germany is the 3rd of October it's the unity day so we're celebrating the German unity after like the separation uh, after second world war so we are actually not celebrating it that much it's just like a day free and so nobody has to like work or has to concentrate on busy things it's just like a day to calm down and play and maybe realize <laughs> thing that um, that we are living in Germany, in a uni united Germany, but it's not that we just doing like marches or celebrating it that much or like coming together in family. It's not that common, I think. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mostly it's, um, I mean it depends on family or person, uh, but it's specific, it's usually just coming together as a group and uh, spending the evening eating and talking and drinking. What, what do you drink on um, New Year's? Like Prosecco, Prosecco I think. Prosecco, definitely. Like, like cheering <laughs> at, uh, at, like, um, when it, the new year we're just like cheering with the family. Uh, but there's not another certain mm. drink, I think. <laughs> and also like playing games, um, singing together, maybe watching a movie, 
And yeah, it's like a family or friends evening and very, very solemnly. Is it there something special about German schools? Um, definitely. So we have a lot of different school types after primary school. So once you graduate, you um, can choose between these different uh, types of schools. Usually your primary school teacher recommends you um, to go to a certain one. And so only one of these school types is called the gymnasium, which we both went to. Um, leads to you being able to go to university straight away after receiving your so-called Abitur. Um, and the other school types you would have to switch to a different kind of school to do that. Or, well, actually there's a lot of possibilities to still go to university and so there's heaps of ways in which your uh, like school career can go after primary school and you sort of have to be aware of all the possibilities because it's not easy to have an overview of uh, everything that is there. Yeah, another special thing is that Germany is divided into 16 states and every state mm. decides on their own how they structure school, what kind of exams they have to do. So it's not like whole Germany is doing like one graduation. So every every state is like depend on their own, how they like structure it, how they're organizing it. And it's quite funny because it seems like they're, they're this, those states are like so different, like different countries, but it's all German, so quite funny. <laughs> And yeah, so remember it, teach us some German. How do you say hello in German? So hello in German is hallo. Mm. And what is goodbye? <laughs> you say tschüss. Um, I love you is ich liebe dich. Um, and how are you? Wie geht's dir? We also, we have a language classes currently, so we're trying to learn those in uh, Georgian. Georgian as well. <laughs> so we will try like, hello, gamma java. <laughs> Um, nach Wandis for goodbye. <laughs> Rugo Khar is how are you? But we actually didn't uh, learn how I love you till now, so no. hopefully soon, so we can Maybe say someone will teach us, <laughs> tell everyone that we love them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we hope we answered some questions you're interested some in, inside, yeah, <laughs> about Germany, about us, and have um, a great day. <laughs>